Hello and welcome to Illumination Podcast with Nick and Kisma. I'm Kisma, and you are listening to the Getting Unstuck series. And today's episode is The Energy Stuck. Hello and welcome to Illumination Podcast with Nick and Kisma, bringing you ancient wisdom for modern day success so that you can have the mindset to get your life and business set. As always, thank you for tuning in. And if you're new to the podcast, take a quick second to hit the subscribe button in iTunes, SoundCloud, or Stitcher. Uh, if you want to get the inside info for this and every episode, as well as some free gifts, go to illuminationacademy.net forward slash podcasts. And now let's dive in to get your mindset for your life and business set. Hello there, Nick. Did you like my fancy cue? Did yeah. it freak you out? We had to take a couple takes. Yeah, I, did. I kept calling it different things because <laughs> the getting unstuck. This the getting unstuck series. This is it. But I was like, how to get unstuck? Are you stuck? <laughs> We're all stuck. This is the getting unstuck series. It's the so, getting unstuck series. The energy stuck because in in the series. In case you haven't listened, um, two weeks ago we talked about the in between stuck. Uh, last week, it was the mental stack, and this week is the energy stack. Now, of course, Nick is an expert on energy healing, energy work, energy clearing, energy coaching. He's president of Energy Mastery. It's all things energy here in the podcast studio. So tell us what it feels like to be in energy stack. Well, energy stuck shows up on more subtle ways, um, but also really obvious ways, but they just people just don't think it's energy stuck. So... Uh, certainly it'll show up as feeling tired, feeling and tired, just like no matter how much you sleep, you're like, you feel tired, right? You get kind of stuck in that mode or not sleeping, right? So you're not kind of tired, yeah. but you lay down to sleep and then your mind's going, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's like energy stuff. Um, but the biggest way that it really shows up, uh, is illness in the body. Yeah. Right. And, Cause that field just starts to infiltrate the body. Right. So uh, unless you're really attuned to energy, most people won't be aware of that, right. you know, to, to understand that there's like, there's actually an energetic component going on here mm -hmm. that is, uh, for lack of a better word, you know, to go with the, the theory, uh, the theme here is it's stuck, right? Yeah. So stuck stuff. Um, I want to kind of, uh, I think just add a little nuance to that though. And, and with all things, right. We mm -hmm. mentioned this before. Uh, really briefly, but still that word still, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's like still, there's no movement, you know, it's still, and that is never an absolute, that is never actually a truth. Right. Right. It's a, it's a word that we use in kind of a lazy way. A lot of times, uh, you don't really use that word for how it's intended. And we say, it's still this, I'm still, still that. that really holds it, man. It, and it's a way of trapping things in. Uh, just trapping the issue in, trapping the whatever that thing is, the, trapping that in its place. And mm -hmm. that's where it starts to feel really stuck. Yeah. And the truth of the matter, you know, particularly with energy, but with everything is that it's always moving. Yeah. Right? It's always moving. It's always changing. Yeah. Your body is not stuck in anything. Your body uh, is constantly replenishing, revitalizing. The energy is shifting. The cells are regenerating. All the cells, you know, are regenerating uh, all the time. Right. Right. We talked about that mental stuckness where that mm -hmm. often doesn't really feel like necessarily feel stuck because there's so much activity up there, right. but how to see some of the underlying patterns. Mm -hmm. That's ninja stuff, by the way. Like that's very. Very, very important to be able to see those patterns. Completely. Right. I think, too, with the energy stuck in, in the body illness, but also gaining weight. Oh, sure. Yeah. Like totally gaining weight, just like the energy's not moving, the body's not processing. It's really interesting. Yeah. So I think, you know, when we talk about energetic, energetic stuckness, that like the, the idea is to, you know, just immediately go to some kind of energetic thing, you know, I'm mm -hmm. going to do like a magical kind of thing. And then my energy is going to be unstuck and everything's going to be all better. Well, there's a little bit more of a process to that. Okay. Tell us. So we, we don't go to, we don't go get our energy cleared right away. 
Well, if you're feeling fatigued, mm -hmm. you do like you, you definitely want to have your energy cleaned up. Mm -hmm. Like that is definitely part of it. Uh, and having somebody like that really knows how to do that well around you and having access to that person, that's a really good person to have access uh, to. Mystic next door on Instagram is Nick or hello at illuminationpodcast.com. Yeah. Happy to help. Happy to mm -hmm. help you with that. Um, but in, in everyday kind of stuff. So we start to, if you've got things showing up physically, that kind of fatigue, maybe it's headache patterns, things like that. Mm. Um, those sorts of things, you've got that showing up consistently in your life and seeing right. that kind of pattern, uh, weight gain, those sorts of things. And you're like, why is this holding? Um, you actually need to have physical movement in your life. It breaks up the energy, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So when it gets in the body and the body gets stuck and stagnant like that, like your body's an energetic thing too, right? So mm -hmm. there's the energy around you. Then there's the conduit for that, right. which is like the, the chakra system. And then there's right. the meridian system inside of your body and the other subtle ener energy channels. And when it's stuck in the body, you really need to just move the body. Yeah. Right. And just move yourself around because it will shake that up and get you, get you moving, you know, get it's you. kind of why dancing to really great music feels good or going for a really strong walk outside or doing jumping jacks or squats. Those are going to open up the lower chakras. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be a lot. You yeah. don't have to go do an insanity workout in yeah. order to get unstuck. All you have to do is move around for five or seven minutes. Um, people get stuck in. Like if you look at it in the microcosm during a day, mm -hmm. you know, where you're working on something and then all of a sudden it's like an hour later yeah. and you're off on some tangent doing and you're like, wait, like what happened? Um, and then you start to feel tired or you start multitasking and, and you just sort of sink into that, mm -hmm. that feeling of either disconnection or, or just sort of like like right. fuzziness and brain fog and all of that. Well, that's all energetic stuff. Yeah. You know, it reminds me, like I have this very vivid memory of running an event and there was a gal there and I looked and she was so still. There was, an, it, it appeared, we know that something's always moving. She was so still and so stuck. It was almost as if she wasn't there. Oh, interesting. Let's, yeah, I, want, I would Can like to talk about that Can you address that? Because I, like, it was like, and I remember saying, are you all right? Like, what's happening over here? Because it was just like, nothing was happening, even though we know things are happening. Bit complete stuckness. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting. That's a, like, it's an energetic hide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is a really interesting thing um, where somebody will be doing all the things. Yeah. Right, they're present. That person was there. They showed up in the room, which is a miracle. By yeah, the way. it is. Like, that's right? so cool. Uh, and they're they're there, and then they're 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 in their the energy itself is so not necessarily depleted, but so withdrawn, so withdrawn and heavy. Right, and and, and even her physical body was not moving, not moving at all. It was almost as if she wasn't breathing. But so it's like, okay, you've, you've gone through all those steps to get there and then you're hiding in plain sight. Right. And that's an energetic hide. Yeah. Right. And in that, how that's, how that looks and sounds is when you're talking to somebody and they can't hear you. Yeah. Like the, you'll, you've probably all had this experience where you're saying the things you're saying the words and they literally just can't hear you. Right. Or, or that's fuzzy. They can't understand what you're saying. Like that's an that there's an energetic component going mm -hmm. on there that you're 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 either you or them are hiding. Right. And best to always just deal with yourself. Right. Okay. Well, something needs to shift here. Mm -hmm. um, just to go off on a slight little tangent with that one, the best thing that you can do is slow down and take a breath in that situation, mm -hmm. and then get mm -hmm. the communication going. Mm -hmm. You know, that's where you start mm -hmm. to ask like. And, and use, um, wow, what do they call that? Uh, reflective? Is it reflective language? Yeah. Is or, it, you know, reframe. I hear you say this. Yeah. That's that, what you said. Yeah. What mm -hmm. I understood so I, yeah. was mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Did I, did I get that right? Is yeah. that, mm -hmm. you know, and then you stay, you get the communication going in a different way and everybody slows down and they can hear each other. But what is happening on an energetic level is that 
all of a sudden those little barriers Mm -hmm. that that barrier of perception started to break down and then the exchange could start to happen right right it's kind of cool so the other thing i see that happens when someone's energetically stuck is they stop breathing oh yeah i mean not not literally but the breath becomes very shallow it's just it's not present yeah can you talk about that well that again it gets back to the physiology of Mm -hmm. it right so that's a a link that a lot of people miss with energy. They think that the energy is all out there or all in the chakras, but it's actually the, the it needs to be connected with the physical body. Yeah. And that's exactly what the breath does. So we use that six, three pattern. Um, it's taught in my video series, uh, which is really fantastic to have, you know, there'll we'll be make, a link in that in the show notes, yeah, make sure you get a link to that. podcast.com. And that breathing technique is incredibly beneficial because it gets the subtle energy channels moving right. as well. So you move your body to get the, um, the, the, the body systems moving, mm-hmm. right. And the, and the energy in and around the body to start, you start to shake it off and break it up yeah. a little bit. And then you, the breathing helps to get those subtle energy channels right. moving. And you're absolutely right. Like that's the first thing, um, you know, to go back last week, um, I can pretty much guarantee when I was like looking at like all the different audio drivers and I'm trying to figure out like, mm-hmm. okay, this signal's going here and then it's going there. And well, what about this? I can guarantee you that I was not breathing through that. Right. <laughs> right. The hindsight's 2020. I had a couple of revelations from that, from that episode that we recorded um, of just little things that I missed along the mm-hmm. way. And that was definitely one of yeah. them. Yeah. So cool. You know, cause we want to, when, when we start to feel stuck, it's a it's a funny thing. Do you remember when you're playing in an orchestra? Maybe I had this. Maybe I had this experience more than you, because you played in really great orchestras, and sometimes I didn't. And uh, the orchestra starts to go a little sideways. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. And then what happens? Right, everybody starts to rush. Everyone starts to rush. It's like I'm trying to get out of this. I'm yeah. trying to get out of this. Nobody drags. Yeah, nobody. The drags. whole orchestra starts like yeah. rushing and making yeah. it faster and harder. Right. And so that is often what happens when we're in a stuck pattern: is our mind starts to really go, mm-hmm. but our energy, our actual energy, doesn't. Mm. And so there's that disconnect, and and that's mm-hmm. where the mind is the wheel, mm-hmm. right, spinning in the mud of the energy. Mm-hmm. Oh, so true. Yeah. So what does one do? Well, the two things that we mentioned, Mm -hmm. uh, first and foremost, is the moving. Move, move, move move the body. Move the body to move the energy. Because energy does come first. Right. Yet we can also move the energy when we move the physical representation of it. Right. Well, mm-hmm. the body is energy too. Right. right? For sure. That's what I meant. Physical yeah, representation. Yeah. It's in a different form. And mm-hmm. so we're moving that, we're moving the energy. Um, that is, I also teach a series of exercises that are specifically designed to uh, release and unlock the energy mm-hmm. in all the different systems What's in the, the bodies. What's the link to your videos? Let's just blurt it out right here. Um, well, if you just go to nickhansinger.com, mm-hmm. it's it'll it'll be up there. Okay. And sure. we'll have it in the show notes with illuminationpodcast.com. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll put some featured things up there. Okay. I, I haven't yeah, I'll probably I'll probably just put some featured things. It'll have the uh, you know, the sound healing from last week, and I'll make sure that okay. this video series is up there. Um, because it's really important. And so those exercises are taught uh to to unlock the systems of the body and get the energy really moving. So that that's number one mm-hmm. is you want to just move your body. Uh, secondly, is you want to start breathing, just yeah. start taking that six, three breathing pattern right. in a measured tempo. Right. right. So, so you're controlling the breath, not the breath controlling you. And just, we want you to watch the videos, but just as a quick refresher, it's through the nose, inhaling for six counts, slowly holding at the top for three through the nose, exhaling for six counts, slowing, slowly holding the bottom for three Yeah, and repeat at least three times. Yeah. That's the basic pattern. There's some subtleties to it that are, mm-hmm. uh, kind of important to making it work really efficiently. But right. if you just start with that, that's a great place to start. And then you can uh, check out the videos and, you know, right. get into some of the more, uh, the more nuances of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So those two things are really mm-hmm. big with the energy. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I would come back to as well, like 
you know, sometimes when we, and this is why it's purposeful now with the whole COVID and the quarantine, sometimes we have to change our surroundings to change the energy that we're in. Right. Go for a walk, the movement, go for a drive. Um, if you can, you know, when travel comes, I mean, I know, I was reading Florence Gobbleshin the other day and she's like, you know, sometimes you got to go on a trip. Like you got to take yourself out of where you are, change the energy and go somewhere. And it kind of ignites your intuition and, and, and brings in more. So when it's safe to travel again, change that energy about you as well. You know, hey, I'm really glad you mentioned that. Because environmental stuff matters. It totally matters. So what's happening now with so many more people working from home, uh, that work stuff is, is it's a very mental energy yeah. and mental energy is really can be quite thick and sticky, you right. know, particularly if there's stuff around it, like stress or anxiety or just mm -hmm. like th really heavy thinky think kind of stuff. All right. Well, now that's in your home. Yeah, and it, and it's all over all the devices and that whole area that you sit around. <laughs> I'm not, stuff. I'm not even exaggerating. Yeah. Like it, it gets, it just gets around all of that stuff, and then you sit down in that, and you spend, you know, however much time you spend in that, and mm. it never really gets cleaned up. Yeah. So what you want to do is two things that are really really helpful for this. One, um, buy some incense. Yeah, not, not super heavy or anything like that. Just just get some, you know, some. We love this uh, website, Nippon Kodo. Oh yeah. It's, oh my gosh. Yeah, get ready to spend some money on incense, everybody. Yeah. Like it's it, so the good. incense is beautiful and it's so good. It's clean. It's yeah. clean. And their marketing's good. Yeah. Like you look at it and you're like, oh, I want that one. Yeah. Like, ooh, the floral series. Right. Yeah. Like right. The wood series. Um. So get some incense because that helps. It does a beautiful job of cleaning up uh, the energy of the space. Mm -hmm. uh, diffusers are nice and they totally work. They just, they kind of work in a smaller area where mm -hmm. an incense will really get a much broader mm -hmm. kind of spectrum. Yeah. The second thing is if you really want to get, you know, crazy with your energy and that is you take a handful of salt, you put it in a bowl and you add some water to the bowl and then you set that under your desk. That's a great or idea. Or somewhere where you won't kick it, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It can be in the corner of your office. Yeah. It'll, it just draws the negative energy. Yeah, it gives, gives a place for all that stuff to go. Yeah. But what you want to do is don't leave it there until it evaporates. <laughs> you want to empty that and replace it daily, especially yeah. for a workspace. Yeah, dump it down the toilet. Yeah. Think about it like energy hygiene. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. I'm so glad you brought those tips in for the environment. Yeah. I mean, these things are, these, these are the energetic things that most people don't just really don't think about, but yeah. are really important. Well, it's because you're not seeing it, right? You're not seeing smoke. You're not seeing dust, but boy, you're feeling something. Right. And then it's really easy to start to just get used to feeling something or blame the times or blame a person or blame a thing, but you can clean it up. Right. Right. So cool. You can clean it up. And these little hacks just go mm -hmm. so far. And there's a few others in that video series that are incredibly valuable. And it's put into a little process that takes about 90 seconds to shift your oh, energy. so good. It's really cool. But one last piece in mm -hmm. our last few minutes here, I kind of wanted to uh, just talk about is when you think about your energy, Mm -hmm. Right. Certainly there's the body stuff that we talked about, but that energy around you, um, they say some people call it an aura mm -hmm. in energy mastery. We call that a strata. It's a container. It's your energy container. And when that is dirty, that is how you're viewing and perceiving and interacting with the world. You're, yes. you're, you're seeing the world and you're perceiving it and you're interacting with the world through that mm. muck or, mm -hmm. or whatever that is. Mm -hmm. And when that is not cleaned up, that will affect what you see. It'll affect uh, how much you're able to see. It'll, it'll definitely distort vision uh, and perception. Yeah. So the more that that's cleaned up, the more free we are. But when it's real mucked up, it's no wonder, everybody, that we see right. the same things. We attract think the, the same, same thoughts, things. attract the same things. Why? Because because it's it's that same frequency, right. right? And that's really the whole key with energy mastery is about cleaning all of that muck off. Right. You clean up all the stuff and then you can see more clearly. Like that was, that was so cool to see. We had, I had a student in 
this weekend and it's kind of, she thinks she's really new to the energy stuff. She's, she's been around it, you know, for a while, but yeah, I, I mean, well, I'm, I feel like I'm new, you know, mm -hmm. to it in a certain way, but anyway, uh, to see that start to get cleaned off for her. And she's like, I'm energized. I'm motivated. I have, you know, yeah, I have ideas, so cool. you know, it's, it's like the creativity. An, I know. Yeah. And you just wouldn't think that a subtle thing that, that was kind of what cracked me up. She's like, I just can't believe that. I can do this. And then it, it creates this really tangible shift for myself, right. you know, cause and effect, baby. And that's the thing with subtle energy yeah. is, is that you don't always, uh, think that it might not be your first go-to, right. but really the energy comes first. Right. And it, and it's so cool when you shift that, because like Swamiji would say, the subtle controls the gross. Right. So the the energy is actually what's controlling everything else. Right. We I could go it. way off on this tangent, but I think, you know, those tips to yeah. keep your environment clean, to keep your body moving and to keep your breath moving. If you just do those things, you'll definitely see a shift and then you can get some other resources and take some other steps. If yes, you want. definitely get to Nick's videos on illuminationpodcast.com. This is episode number three in the How to Get Unstuck series that Getting energy stuck, stuck getting on stuck series. <laughs> oh my God. Um, energy stuck or find them on his website, nickhansinger.com. Hey, uh, email us hello at illuminationpodcast.com if you're interested in one on one work or trainings or whatever. We've got so much stuff going on. And do us a favor go rate, review, download, share the episode so we can reach more beautiful souls out there in the world. And thank you so much for listening. Uh, we love you very much and peace. Yeah. Here's to your freedom and uh, your free flow and energy, everybody. Absolutely. Namaste. Hey, thanks for jamming with us today. And if you enjoy Illumination Podcast, please go ahead and share it with someone you love. Give us a rating, review, download our podcast. And remember, you can find us at illuminationacademy.net forward slash podcasts. Talk to you soon. Namaste.